Hi, this is Denisa, and in this video I'm going to go over how to use a for loop to show that in the sequence n to uh, n cubed minus n, if n is a positive integer, then the sum will always be divisible by 3. I've derived this coding challenge from Code by Math, and it is a great website on how um, that teaches you how to learn code and how to learn math uh, in the context of each other, and I recommend you go check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna code this. So we're gonna have a sum of a zero, which is which is which is what we're going to test the divisibility of, and we're gonna use the for loop like it asks to um, go up, go up the positive integers in the range of. Uh, in the range of let's say zero, uh, one to ninety-nine. No, um, a hundred. Okay, and uh, so the formula was n to the power of three. That is, n cubed minus n should always be divisible by three. And we're going to check that using the modulus operator. So if n, uh, if sum. Uh, divided by 3 gives the remainder of 0, that is to say it is divisible by 3, and dividing by 3 gives no remainders, then we're going to print out this this um, this number <coughs> is divisible by 3, and if it doesn't, it's going to um, so that we know if the thing is not true or not, we're going to say is not divisible by 3. Okay, so we're just going to run that. Okay, so we can, we can scroll through this and you'll find that all of the numbers you put in are, well, apart from 0, or positive integers that are divisible by three. Uh, okay, that that's it. It's really short, but um, how to do the thing is actually quite short. So uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and go check out Code by Math.